Why, hello there. I am back. I am back after a long break of not doing any live streams. I am back home in my man cave. Um, yeah, so I had to get back into the swing of things. Uh, we gotta, we gotta talk. We gotta talk about polarity. So tonight I'm going to be talking about a man's instincts, a man's instincts to devote and lead, take care of a woman. A lot of women really struggle with activating those instincts in a man. They don't know how, don't realize that they're capable of doing it. And so when a woman doesn't know how to activate man's instincts, she really struggles. She really struggles because she doesn't get her, her needs met and she doesn't get what, uh, what she would desire and love, crave from a man. And uh, so to talk about this, I'm going to talk about this briefly. This is my most recent book. All right, Inspire His Devotion. And I really like this book. This one's actually my favorite of all five that I've written. And the reason why is because I really focus on instincts and where they come from. Why men and women have instincts in the first place. Because there's a really big, you know, like in modern day society, men and women are indoctrinated. It is indoctrinated. Uh, it is indoctrination to believe to one extent or another that men and women are basically the same. Like men have penises, women have vaginas, but otherwise we're basically the same, right? Everything on the inside is basically the same. Everything that a man can do, a woman can do, and, and we should be doing all the same things, right? And, <laughs> and when you grow up, of course, in that, in that culture, in that indoctrination system, it can be very easy to believe that that is the case. And many men and women believe that today, right? That we do not have instinctual programming. And this is so important to understand because if you don't get this, you really do believe that men and women are basically the same other than some physical character dis differences, right? And you believe that they should, men and women should be raised exactly the same and that they basically have the exact same needs and that they should be, uh, you know, interacting in the same way. And that, and, and then of course, what that means is, of course, masculine and feminine communication and like communicating differently. That would all be silly. And the, it, like everything would be silly if you believe that indoctrination. And so, you know, one of the things that I talk about in this book, and by the way, if you haven't read it yet, you got to read this because it's going to, especially, especially if you just have a whole bunch of questions about polarity and, and how to put all the pieces together and make sense of it. One of the things that I talk about is you know, things that we, that the men traditionally did, like throughout history, okay? So just reading a few, I'm, not, I'm just going to read a few things to you, okay? And try not to think of the like two exceptions to the rule. We're just talking about in general. In dances, the man physically gives his leadership, the woman receives it. On dates, the man gives his time and place and leads or drives the woman to it, she receives this leadership. With chivalry, men give their direction by pulling out chairs and opening doors. They also give their protection by walking on the outside of the sidewalk closest to the cars. It's typically men who do the present buying and the compliment giving to make women feel special. When proposing, the man gives the ring and his offer of lifetime commitment. The woman chooses to receive it or not. When married, the man used to be the sole provider, typically. Who would go out and work to provide food and shelter the woman would receive it and take care of the home and children and on a larger scale it's the men that go to war to protect all the women society and offspring the women receive that protection and then i pose the question did these gender roles arise because of now outdated social conditioning right and that's what so many people believe today is that all of that arose because of some kind of social conditioning like it's just all a cultural thing and then we kind of got indoctrinated into it. And it's like, oh, the men, they just uh, they just lead the dances because they they were taught to do that and their daddies were taught to do that. And, and so that's the reason that we do it. But we should live in a society where 
the women are, are leading half the time and the men are leading half the time because men and women are exactly the same other than our genitals, right? And it's not true. The reason that those cultural differences exist in the first place, and I just listed a few, there's so many more, it's because of our instincts. And, you know, survival and stuff kind of plays into it as well, but ultimately it comes from our instincts, right? If men uh, had no drive whatsoever to lead, then we probably wouldn't have throughout culture, throughout different cultures, arrive in a similar place where men are typically leading the dances, right? Um, that they are typically financially providing, all this kind of stuff. So this is fundamental to understanding everything else about polarity is that this stuff isn't just a conceptual framework, right? It's not just about playing roles like in, um, you know, you know, in, in, in like in, in a sex dungeon or whatever, uh, where you're playing roles of, of slave and master and that kind of thing. Cause that, you know, it's like, Oh, we're just going to play pretend for a while. Right. And then we're going to go back to reality. No, what we're talking about is, is going back to our instincts and following our instinct. And it's so difficult today. I'm not going to talk too much about it in this video, but it's so difficult today because so many men and women have instincts that are totally buried. They're very deeply suppressed under decades or a lifetime of this indoctrination of this belief that men and women are basically the same when we are so fundamentally different. We are more different internally as far as our programming than we are externally, right? That's, that's kind of crazy to think about. More different internally. And our needs are like fundamentally different. And what activates our instincts are fundamentally different. Okay, so uh, you know, so speaking like for for to understand as like a woman, you got like a really emasculated, weak man who can't lead in any way, who doesn't energetically penetrate, he can't penetrate himself out of a paper bag. When he goes up to you and and you know, say you go on a date with him somehow, like you made a big mistake there saying yes to that. Are you going to feel your instincts activated? Your instincts to be like, oh, I really want to open my legs to this guy. I really want to follow this guy. I really want to, you know, basically do whatever he wants, whatever he tells me to do. No, your instincts are going to be like, holy crap, I need a really good excuse to get out of this as quickly as possible because this is yucky. <laughs> it does not feel good. This feels uncomfortable, right? And that's actually your instincts, right? That's your instincts telling you, ooh, like, I'm like, my genes are actually not safe. If I were to sleep with this guy, uh, it's basically over for my genes. I'm going to create a absolutely weak human being that will die, right? That's what your genes are literally telling you. That's what your instincts are telling you. That's why that guy feels gross to you. That's why you feel gross in your body. And at the same time, you meet that. James Bond guy, whatever, uh, really masculine guy. He can lead. He's energetically penetrating you. You can just feel his dominance. You can feel his love for you as well, his care for you. What are you going to feel? You're going to feel really receptive. You're going to feel really submissive. You're going to feel really open. You're going to feel vulnerable. You're going to feel like, man, you just want him to take care of you. Okay? Those are instincts. And it's, you can see how it's very different depending on the guy. So to turn this around, now we're going to be talking uh, the other way because the what's the title of my video? Totally forgot why you struggle to activate a man's instincts to devote to. Okay. You got to understand this isn't to be judgmental towards you. Okay. I care about all you ladies, but many ladies are like that creepy emasculated guy, but in a different way, right? Like... <laughs> Typically, men don't feel that like creepy vibe with women because just the way, you know, there, there's not much genetic risk. If we sleep with a woman uh, that has low genetic value, whatever we're going to put on that, it's like, okay, well, now we got to replenish for a day. Very low risk compared to a woman, right? Losing nine months and 
incubating that child and then pretty much uh, a quarter of her life raising it. But we're still going to feel some really big differences. And, and it more comes, it's more about devotion, right? It's like a lot of women don't activate a man's devotion. Why not? It's because she, she isn't in that energy. Right? She doesn't know how to activate a man's devotion. She doesn't know how to um, get him. Like, he might be attracted to her. Right? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm totally sleep with her. That, that sounds fun. She's hot. That'd be really nice. But there's a really big difference between a man feeling attraction for a woman and a man feeling that, like, oh, I want to claim you. I want to take care of you. I want to cherish you. I want to protect you. I want to provide for you. I just want, uh, I want to make you happy, right? Total difference. There's lots of women out there. Like most, you know, well, you know, most, they just feel, all you need is some basic physical attraction. And then there's going to be lots of guys who are like, yeah, I'll sleep with her. Very different though with devotion. You need the energy. You need the energetic. And for that, you need to learn how to truly be in that receiving energy. What is receiving energy? Well, receiving energy is when you're not controlling anything. Okay, it's when you're energetically letting go of control. Now, that doesn't just mean you're not telling a man what to do and you're not like judging him and blaming him and being bitchy and all of that stuff. Of course, it means not doing that. But what it also means is you're not people pleasing. It also means that you're not mothering. It also means that you're not avoiding speaking up your needs and sharing your feelings vulnerably. It means that you're speaking up when you do feel hurt. It means speaking up when you do feel anxious. It means sharing everything. It means energetically exposing yourself so that you are being fully seen and you're not hiding anything. Because to hide something means you're controlling something. Why would you control things? Well, because deep down, you don't really believe that you are worthy. You believe that you're just going to be taken advantage of or hurt or used in some kind of way or, or discarded, abandoned right? There's lots of ways that a woman is blocking her receptivity and it's typically going to be out of fear. Fear is typically because of some kind of wound, right? Some kind of limiting belief that she's picked up. So if you want to be able to inspire man's devotion, not just attraction, but devotion for you to take care of you, you need to learn how to truly let go of control and receive a man every way possible okay two ways to start with that number one get this book inspires devotion number two so you know this is going to teach you a lot about the, both the theory really understanding on a much deeper level in this video what i am talking about as well as give you a whole bunch of great examples uh, so that you can start making these shifts and applying and everything. And then number two is join our masterclass, okay? We do a polarized communication masterclass where we will demo all of this stuff for you. We'll show you exactly what the energy looks like, how to get into it, how to shift your communication, all of this stuff. Next one is in about three weeks, October. To go to that, Go to relationshipyourdreams.com. My books are on the website as well, relationshipyourdreams.com. Every woman, every woman can do this. This is really important. So many limiting beliefs out there from you know, decades, years or decades of failed experience, or sorry, failed experience, uh, you know, bad experiences with men. You can make these shifts. You can stop telling yourself you can't stop coming up with excuses for why you are not taking action. Why are you wasting your time? Do something about it. You can literally, I don't care where you are, but you can literally, then a period of time, I can't tell you exactly how long it's going to take you. Depends how much support you're getting and how much you're learning and how much you're actually applying everything. But you can literally be in a healthy, polarized relationship, long-term committed relationship where a man is taking care of you and you can feel his love. You can feel his cock. You can feel his strength. 
You can feel his backbone and he's there to take care of you. He's there to love you and protect you and provide for you because you've activated his instincts. That's what I want to show you how to do. Get the book, join the masterclass, start there. Keep watching these videos. All right, I'll see you for the next one.